This coverage of IFA 2014 is brought to you by Sony Xperia. Don't settle for good, demand great. Hello everybody, this is SoyaChinchow.com and we're taking a closer look at the newly announced Samsung Galaxy Note 4, its latest fablet that's just announced at Samsung Unpacked in Berlin. Going through the specs, the Galaxy Note 4 has the same 5.7 inch size display but now pushes a higher quad HD resolution. This gives it a pixel density of 515 pixels per inch and it uses its very own Super AMOLED display panel. Processor-wise, it gets either a 2.7 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 805 processor or Samsung's in-house developed 1.9 GHz octa-core Exynos processor. On either option, there's 3 GB of RAM and 32 GB of storage, which can be expanded up to 128 GB extra with microSD. In terms of battery, it is slightly bigger at 3220mAh, which is just 20mAh more than the Note 3. As you would expect with a newer flagship, the Galaxy Note 4 gets a 16 megapixel shooter, which is the same pixel count as the Galaxy S5, but it is further enhanced with optical image stabilizer. For taking selfies, they have fitted a much larger 3.7 megapixel camera with a f1.9 aperture and 90 degree wide angle lens. To capture a larger group in a selfie shot, the Galaxy Note 4 lets you take a wider 120 degrees wide angle selfie by stitching several shots together. Considering the Galaxy Note 4 is quite a large device, you can take a selfie shot by just tapping on the heart rate sensor at the back to take a picture. In terms of design, the Galaxy Note 4 is better built with the use of metal frames around the sides. Unlike the Galaxy Alpha, it gets additional painted layer which matches the color of the device. Meanwhile, the back cover still features the same fake leather appearance which debut on the Galaxy Note 3. In terms of dimension, the Galaxy Note 4 is slightly narrower than the Note 3 but it's slightly taller and heavier due to its more upmarket build. In terms of standard features, it gets a fingerprint scanner embedded on the home button which Samsung says has been improved, and they've also included a heart rate sensor placed underneath the main camera. It also gets NFC, 4G LTE, and an infrared blaster as well. The S Pen is still the main highlight for the Note series, and Samsung tries to give it a more pen-like experience with better pressure sensing, and it's easier to capture images and illustrations than before. For better multitasking, they've improved its multi-window feature and now you can resize each app based on your preference. To turn everyday analog details into digital, the built-in OCR feature is greatly improved and you can turn any printed materials into type text easily provided you have good lighting. The Galaxy Note 4 has a couple of drawbacks versus the previous model. It uses USB 2.0 instead of the newer USB 3.0 but it does get a fast charging feature that lets you juice up 50% of its battery in 30 minutes. As comparison, Oppo's Find 7 VOOC charger does 75% in the same duration. Next is a speaker placement for the Galaxy Note 4, which is now returned to the back, and we think the Note 3 did a better job with the sound firing from the bottom edge of the phone. The Galaxy Note 4 is a great improvement for its Note series, and Samsung is expected to bring this device to Malaysia very soon. That's all for now and this is just a quick hands-on with the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 at IFA 2014. Thanks for the likes, thanks for the comments and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is SoyaChinchow.com and see you guys later.